Well, howdy. I'm Infinity Solstice, Bright Wizard of Destiny. Welcome to the gallery at Go Organic Sports Ranch. Beside me, I have a, a plaster of man-woman, man-woman's head. <laughs> you gotta love it. So this video blog is called Salt, the Spice of Life. The summer of 2022 was off to a slow start. But as I sit here in my living room, with paper and pen in hand, the sun is making another appearance, as it has all September and October, this being the 16th of October, and it has been no exception. Sun every day, California all the way. And for the next five or six days. Then I'm sure winter-like air will find its way into the Columbia Valley once more. But this morning, the sun first struck a birch tree with its yellow leaves set aglow way up there by the tennis court. And this gives me pause to just say that the tennis court is back to its full glory. It being a natural surface, it can fall prey to an invasion of weeds and worms. The place is called Go Organic Sports Ranch, so it has been a constant battle to keep them at bay organically. Rolling and weeding have been the order of the day, as well as big chunks of carpeting placed all around the edges of the court to keep the weeds from creeping in from the edges. But finally, after 20 or 30 years, I decided to chuck the carpets and spread some NACL, plain old table salt, in place of the carpeting. And by golly, it has worked. It only took an application of six 20 kilo bags of Windsor salt. That's 120 kilos of salt. It just didn't seem like too big of an inorganic crime. I've been keeping an area, the area of a tennis court, 120 feet by 60 feet, relatively free of weeds for 30 or so years, and the task was becoming daunting. So I decided to try salt. So there you have it, my inorganic solution to getting the tennis court back to its truly, to a truly mint condition. And mint it is. It looks magnificent. And as an aside, some of the chunks of carpeting I had to cut up as they were so heavy just to be able to pick, to take pack them off the court. Oh, the praises of salt. As a species, I heard we can't live without a bit of salt. And as one fellow put it, salt is the ultimate spice, the spice of life. As I said goodbye to the carpets, I've forgotten to mention that they make fantastic homes for earthworms. Many years ago, I introduced dewworms to my ranch, thinking they would help the soil, which proved to be true, but I had no idea that they would spread all over my farm, leaving their little mounds of earth everywhere, including the tennis court. It seems these big, huge worms don't like salt, much like the weeds. When I applied the salt, I wasn't thinking of the worms, but there seems to be less of them, so I hope they've just moved back to my hayfield. So if you ever decide to play a little tennis on the clay court, there are plenty of rackets and five gallons of balls up there, and I recommend that you take the five-gallon pail of balls out into the court and hit the entire bucket full of balls before you have to pick up a single ball. And thusly, your game will improve as the Beaverfoot range of the Rocky Mountains stands guard watching you play you will notice on this natural surface that there just ain't too many more weeds. Thank goodness. Over and out. I'm Infinity Solstice, bright wizard of destiny.